Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm always happy when you stop by my craft room. Weekend updates is where I tell you exactly that. What's going on this weekend and how things are going in the craft room and around here. I worked on the butterfly journals today and did some filming of it along the way. So you might see more of that this week. Joy of Blue is on Thursday the 12th. I don't know what other videos you're going to see yet. Kind of depends on how on how much I get done editing. Today is Mother's Day here in the U.S. So happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I'll be visiting mine so we'll see on the editing. Maybe I'll get up early and everything will be done. Videos I'm not sure what else is coming this week but we'll see. Just kind of depends on how much I'm getting done and what's going on. You should have seen Smash Our Stash by now so you know that my counter is cleaner and I made room for butterfly journal work. Can whoever left me a message about the bib stamp and the bow stamp and there were more. I have a group of stamps set aside for this person and I lost my paper that says who asked and I've tried looking. I did send out some of the woodblock stamps. I got those moving. I've just been trying to clean up the craft room. So I did smash our stash and then tried to clean up. And today I didn't start anything new. There were some things I wanted to start and I thought about, I like the new sheet load and Joy of Blue and I just thought, nope, I'm gonna work on butterfly journals. So today I now have five of them stitched together. Today I worked on these four and got them all stitched together also. So are in textiles, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll show you I can't remember what I actually filmed and what I didn't, but you'll have an idea of how I approached it. You'll see more of these. I just wanted to give you the weekend update sneak peek. My videos are a little strange sequentially because weekend updates is always latest and greatest, but it might not have very much detail of things. So a couple things I wanted to ask you guys about. I used Beacons 3-in-1 on this, and can you see it's glossy? and sometimes it gets like a stained glass look on lace. It doesn't make it look bad, but I feel like you can tell that it's there. I'm low on Fabri-Tac and I was using my Beacons 3-in-1 because it's a bigger bottle. I've also cut it a little big so it's hard to work with. Do you think if I used Fabri-Tac it wouldn't be shiny like that? Does it show when you put your lace on? These are things I'm wondering as I figure out which glue to use for which. Isn't that the million dollar question for us? and which, what's the perfect paper cutter. I have videos on that and they get a lot of views. I did put this amazing big piece of lace on here. I might do more. I have a tendency to leave my covers really plain and maybe people don't like that, but I just feel like if they're gorgeous, like this one, I had a hard time covering up that paper, but I thought the lace really made sense. And who knows, maybe I'll find the perfect butterfly and glue it on the front. But I don't like them real dimensional because I wanna be able to put them into a bookshelf, put them in my purse, that kind of thing. Today was pretty much butterfly journals. I will say my room doesn't look bad. I'll show you. It's all butterfly. So to me, it's not scary, I don't think. So the table is butterfly and embellishments and that's the pile of embellishments that I had over there. And that is pretty much all scraps. And then that's, I think number six. And then number seven still in the bag up there. And then look at this counter. I mean, it's pretty clean and respectable. And this was a box that I took to the other room to sew them together. I think I showed you that in the video that'll come out later. So not bad. I mean, once I put away my update stuff, the counter's pretty empty. My friend Andrea wants me to tell you that she has some fusible fiber and film that she wants to do a de-stash with, essentially a giveaway. So if you're interested in fusible fiber, leave a thing down below, leave a comment. You need to be over 18 because at some point you'll have to give out your address. And if you're interested, let us know. Andrea can look through the comments. She can random pick them, whatever. Do not, under any circumstances, give your address to weirdos. Let's work through me. Let's be sure so that you're not giving your address out to just anybody. I will let you know and we'll talk on comments. So don't give your address to anyone or reach out and share unless I leave you a comment that says you won. 
be super careful because there are some scams and I will never ask you for money or anything weird. Oh, speaking of weird and scams, <laughs> I've been meaning to bring this up. I get so many emails that are poorly written and they want me to push goods. And I'm not gonna name any companies. When you're watching videos, think about what companies you're supporting. If somebody says, hey, I got this box of blah, blah, blah from so-and-so, maybe Google that company, maybe look them up, maybe see where they are. My allergies are giving me a heck of a time. If they have a beautiful website, all great photos, everything wonderful, it looks super fancy, and the text doesn't read right, start asking yourself, do I think I'm supporting my neighbor by buying from this website? Hmm, probably not. In a world where we're trying to support our neighbors, friends, and different countries, we don't want all of our money to go to absolutely one country. So I usually ask them where their company is and where their goods are manufactured. And if they have the same answer for both of those questions and it's China, hard pass. Every time you watch one of those videos, you are supporting that company because you're getting more people talking about that company and the analytics are watching the title of that video and you're supporting it. So even as a viewer, think about what you're supporting. If you watch a video that brings you joy and the person supports you, give them a thumbs up, like their video. If you start watching a video and you realize that is negative energy in the world or it's a product you don't wanna support, bail, bail immediately. Just think about that because as YouTube viewers, you have a lot of power too. And I know that's my soapbox, but even when my friends make videos like that, I don't watch them because I don't want certain companies to be supported. I want to support the companies that are making stuff in the US or making stuff in countries that I know need support and aren't getting a lot, that maybe those smaller companies in different European countries support them. That's great. Soapbox, I'm good now. Um, but let me tell you, those emails are hilarious. And you get them on Instagram too. There are people that are hired to just push them. So they'll send you the exact same poorly written message from three different people over the course of a couple months. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, uh, supposedly my contractor's gonna come back next week. We shall see. Then maybe I will have a deck cover again and we can start putting our yard back together. We need to rebuild our deck. We've gotta get painted. Uh, the deck needs to be stained. We're going to need gutters. And next thing you know, it's going to be June and we're still going to be working on this March project. But I guess that's how it goes these days, right? You just roll with it. The other thing is I have a whole stash of stuff I've created. Not these. These aren't ready. The butterfly journals aren't ready, but they're just an example. Tons of journals, scrapbooks, other things. You know I do not like to take the time to take all the photos and list them online, but I do plan uh, maybe in another month or so, I am going to have a day where I roll a bunch of stuff out on Etsy. And I think what I'll do is I will tell my viewers in updates what day that's going to be. So that if you watch my videos consistently, you get first dibs. If you watch consistently, you've probably seen it all, but maybe you were too shy to speak up or you don't realize that you could afford the items. I make things because I have a great time and they bring me joy. I am not trying to get rich from this. <laughs> that That is not happening. But you do have to cover the postage too, right? I mean, that adds up. Mr. Crafting and Relaxing taught me a trick though because he mailed something the other day. I think I should be using these priority envelopes more. Mm-hmm, I think so. I'm looking at options because postage adds up for sure. And if you buy more than one item, you can message me and we can work it out. I've had people buy just from messaging me, then I don't have to charge six or seven dollars for each item just for shipping. That helps it. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks so much to those of you who support and watch. Oh, let me show you one more thing I've been doing. I narrowed down what stamps I'm gonna keep and I started putting them on the ledge behind the counter. I know, I'm out of space pretty much, but it helped me empty out the boxes and figure it out 
And what I'm probably going to do is put another one of my giveaway boxes on Facebook Marketplace. And I don't mess with shipping on those. I just do them like as like a somewhat photographed grab bag type thing to make this stuff go away because I've also found that's how I get rid of some of my scraps and stuff now too because I can do a giveaway and they'll go to uh, a family that's making cards or a youth group or something and then I don't have to worry about them. All right, thanks so much for watching. I think that's it for today because I worked on so much of the same stuff and I don't wanna do a flip through on these because we have a long way to go. We're a long way from done here. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.